Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be sure to show you how to set up WooCommerce payments for beginners. So, in this video, I will show you how to do that through your WordPress account or through their own WooCommerce website. So without any further talking guys, make sure to watch this video from now to the end because it is full of details and information that will help you a lot. And of course, to not make any mistakes, make sure to watch it up step by step so you don't make any mistakes. And also, if you had any questions or any problem in here you found in this video, please make sure to make it down below in the comment section. Write to me what you your ideas about and your questions so we can improve the content of our, our channel and go far together so first of all guys let's go ahead and open our wordpress so i'm going to open it in my local host since i have it on my local host so let's go to my wordpress and simply guys to actually add wordpress uh, or woocommerce to wordpress it is pretty simple i will show you right now so this is the wordpress website so i'm just going to actually go to my plug wordpress um, uh, dashboard so i'm just going to add here my nickname and password and here we go let me just fix this real quick here we go or oh, oh, i'm sorry so it's gonna be something like that and here we are so back to you guys so this is the actual dashboard so now what i'm going to do to actually add woocommerce click on plugins and simply here search for woocommerce so just go here and search for woocommerce as you can see and install it so this is woocommerce plugin that we are going to need today so just go here upgrade and activate it on your wordpress account as you can see it will be something like that over here all you need to do after that is just make sure to actually link it with your woocommerce account now for those who doesn't have wordpress and have only woocommerce account and try to add some payment method let's go to woocommerce website so let's go into it here we are and from here i will click on the first page and let's go to get started now guys what you are going to do is simply go to your um wordpress continue as the wordpress account and now click on approve and give it the authorization to view subscription information available extension and so go on so it will serve you with the best uh, things now which one of the best describes you so i'm just starting my business now give your store a name let's call it for example lolly products and here let's add an industry so i'm going with software and continue now launch in days go for you so these are the things that you can get so what's what's the different hosting provider or your experienced developer or something like that so here premium teams you can get unlimited products shipping labels etc so try here for free for your own and WooCommerce you are creating your store so now we are creating a store in WooCommerce as you can see so just give it a time let it download until the end and it shall be ready for you after it is fully downloaded as you can see here just let this purple line first till the end and basically guys WooCommerce is a really important plugin for you in case you wanted to start an e-commerce website store or try to sell products online this plugin will merge everything in one for you so it is like a pack that contains so much features uh, it can create products for yourself make analytics make um orders gets payments through it so it has so many things in one place so this is really really good and it is it has some free subscription it has some paid subscription so you can go with either you'd like from these and i highly suggest you guys to go with the paid subscription because it is really really good now after it is finished with the actual installing now let's give it some time until it refresh the page so here it is now let me just refresh in case it didn't work well so here it is this is how it will be looking like i think i have a bug okay here it is now it is loading correctly and here we are so now you must verify your email to sign in with wordpress so i'm going to resend email now i'm going to my email real quick and of course i'm going to receive it wordpress activates confirm and now it shall be working so here we go and log in 
So that's it, guys. This is pretty easy. So here are in the WooCommerce. So these are like the WooCommerce things that you can do. Now let's add a payment. So to set up a payment, just click on payment. And now all you need to do is wait for it until it creates you the page. You can preview the po the store from here or help from here as well. So in case you wanted to add some payments method, you can, for example, go to here to WooCommerce and go to uh, whatever thing, for example, here is settings of your WooCommerce and see the settings from there and add the payments. Or you can just go through here or you can just go to WooCommerce website again. So let's go into it. <coughs> here we go. Sorry guys, um, and here this is my account. I can go to the dashboard from here. So the dashboard, of course, will take you to the dashboard, which is over here. And here you can add the payment card from here. And of course, here you can edit or add your credit or debit card from here. So these are the two things that you can do. Um, here, let's go back, I guess from here okay this one actually i think it's bugged during these days but overall if you if it didn't work for you like mine you can just simply go to your website so go to your actual website for woocommerce go to dashboard add this uh, this payment method and save it as a payment method and this will be working also not only here but it will be implemented into your wordpress website so it will not only be saved in your woocommerce it will be saved also in your wordpress website and of course if that was uh if that wasn't working good for you you can use it as you can use stripe also which is basically um a company which is serves only in the US but overall this tribe also makes it so much easier to receive money and to pay money also with with this application which is really really good you can link it with WooCommerce so you can just go to your dashboard search for WooCommerce link them together and you will have everything set up and of course that's how there is like multiple options for you to actually add a payments method to your WooCommerce account so the first one as I said which is going to your WordPress install WooCommerce plugin and from there you can just go ahead and add the payment method from here but unfortunately as you can see I have some problems with it the second method which is going to your WooCommerce dashboard after you log in and you create your account go to payment card and add it and of course as you can see here there is also stripe so you can also add stripe as your payment method so is here it is just go here activate your account go to payments and add a new payment add it or link it with your WooCommerce uh, account and you will be ready to go so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like and thank you guys for watching